Hi, welcome, welcome, welcome everyone to the eSpot. I have another exciting Monday spotlight and today it's Glow Skin Beauty Rep, Brett Gallagher. He's not only the Vice President of Global Marketing and Education, but he's worked several other careers and jobs that I can't wait for you guys to hear more about. So without further ado, the man of the hour, Mr. Brett Gallagher. Do a nice little intro. Camille. Hey Camille. How's it going? Hey, oh, the countdown. I missed the countdown. I'm so sorry. False start. No, it's but all I'm good. So excited to be here. Oh, I'm so excited to have you here. I have loved Glow for years. And so it's exciting to have you all to myself to ask all the questions. Well, not really all yes. to myself, but to ask all the questions. But let's start off with how did you get started with Glow? Tell us a little yeah. bit about you. Of course. So I've been in the industry now for over 20 years, which is crazy to say out loud. And I've always been on the makeup side of things. So I've always been a little bit more of that kind of accidental makeup artist and kind of grew up through a few different companies. But um, my heart's always been with skin. And so it's very hard to find lines that really connect kind of that ethos of skincare with cosmetics. And so for me, Glow has always been on my radar as a brand that does well with both. And then my favorite is that they also are involved in treatment room. And that's really where my first experience with Glow was. So started with Appeal, bought some home care, and then the next thing, you know, I was in press space and fell in love with the line. So uh, I've loved it a long time and I joined the brand back in October. So I was very fortunate um, to start recently with them. And it's just been an exciting journey of kind of rediscovering some kind of new favorites at the brand and kind of a new direction for us. Well, a funny story, uh, when I was first taught about Glow, because I found out about it as an esthetician working at a spa here in Raleigh, actually at Skin Sense, and I had just recently left a position with the same company you used to work with, which is Mac Cosmetics. Oh, look at that. That and little it, Canadian company. Yes. <laughs> yeah, very tiny, <laughs> kind of owned by Estee now, but yes. at the time, they, I think they were in the transition with okay. Estee Lauder when I started working with them. But I worked there while I went to esthetician school. Fantastic. So it was like okay. a seven day a week I was working on skin or makeup. But um, funny enough, when I was when they were doing the training, they kind of said that Glow is the Mac of mineral makeup. And it is Oof. proven to be true yeah. in the sense of all the different colors that are available. It kind of fits every skin type, every skin condition. And even different Fitzpatrick scales like myself, because <laughs> at the time there wasn't many options that fit all, all different skin colors, so to speak. Right. So it's kind of yeah, funny we both worked for Mac. That's a really, um, that's a huge compliment. And definitely being a Mac alumni myself, I've come to love that professional side of makeup. And, you know, I think you always remember your first love, right? And that's right. definitely for me and makeup, what was my boot camp and really taught me so much. And mm -hmm. You know, what I love about being at Glow is that you get all of the performance with none of the compromise. So that's definitely my favorite angle. And what a great compliment to kick us off. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, no way. He worked for Mac. Yes. I worked for Mac. I have to bring that up. And the story about how it is kind of, well, at least on the makeup side, it's very similar. And I will say now that I think about it, even the packaging for the skincare mm -hmm. side is very similar in the sense it's very clean and not a lot of extra You're stuff right. on it. It's just what needs to be on there. And it's in silver or gold, which I love because yeah, more metals cool, better. Right? Yeah, yes, right. I agree. I so, agree. Well, very cool. Well, let's get into a little bit about Glow. For those that don't sure. know about Glow, share more about what, how, like what's Glow's main mission is, but also what kind of things can people expect from Glow compared to maybe some of the other brands that they might be familiar with? Yeah, no, I, I don't know that. why they wouldn't be familiar with Glow. Sorry. You know, it's it's funny because I, I've been finding, Camille, that we're a little bit of a best kept secret still. And I love mm. it because we both get to break the secret daily. And I think that that's so much fun. Um, but Glow, for those of you that are not familiar, is a full spectrum offering of professional skincare and makeup um, that really starts with your cleanser and ends with your lipstick. So we pride ourselves on being a full service lineup that's both 
very much able to be taken home with you in your home care for skincare and your makeup bag for your cosmetics, but you can also receive professional treatments from us with your favorite beauty pros out there, which is so exciting. Um, in terms of what we're really committed to, we're committed to products that create change in the skin. This is so huge. So we want to trigger change. We want to inspire that. We want to instill that with all of our active ingredients in our skincare and our cosmetics. And then specifically, we also love the side of just being performance without compromise. So we've been in the industry now for about 20 years, which is wild to say out loud. And we've been <laughs> living with a professional. So we'd like to think that we've really been through the ringer of working with some of the most discerning professionals in the beauty industry. Um, and so for us, it's really a lot to carry that weight because it means that we've got to hold our products to that expectation of the professional. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, it gives us such license to play with really great formulations that perform that, the way that everyone wants these days. Now, I have to ask, what are some of your favorite products from the Glow line? Of course. Well, yeah. in terms of skincare, I've been really hooked on our latest launch, which is our Pro 5 mm -hmm. Liquid Exfoliant. So um, this is a moment where I think we're all in quarantine and we're all working on ourselves. We're working on just every aspect of life and why not do a little extra work on our skin? So mm -hmm. I love that this launched right before. It's um, basically a liquid exfoliant is a nice alternative to a scrub. So this is really giving okay. me the ability to kind of remove the dead, get to the new and really refresh my complexion over time uh, and without it being too, too abrasive. And it's all like a chemical exfoliant. There's no manual or beads in it, right? Correct. It is 100% chemical. So it's doing all the work with alpha hydroxies and polyhydroxy acids. Oh, that's neat. Because yeah. I don't know what the laws are currently. I should have looked this up before I had you on. But I know there was at some areas or some places they're not allowing beads anymore in exfoliants. So that's nice yes. to know that there's other options. Because I started like, wait, do I need to start stockpiling all of my exfoliating? Because right. <laughs> <laughs> in the shower, I like to use I used to like to use anyway, but manual ones, which I have since ran out of. So I'll have to look into this um, Pro 5. Is that right what you said? Yeah, Pro okay. 5 Liquid Exfoliant. It's it's so great. And then I think the, the one that so many people know I'm obsessed with is Lip Revival um, <sighs> and Barrier Balm. I've got a little bit of a thing for lips. I just love my lips hydrated and conditioned have to. I talk a lot. And so that really is such a important thing, <laughs> yeah. right? So yeah. I'm always pulling Lip Revival out. There's always one next to me somewhere. And it's just great because it offers that serum-like benefit of plumping with a little extra hydration like a balm. Oh, that's awesome. So yeah. what other great things are on the pipeline for Glow? Any other products we should be aware of or any special that you can share just with my eSpot audience? <laughs> yeah, of course. Listen, you can you can say you heard it here first, but we're working on some really exciting things in the Glow Lab. And specifically right now, I think that there's a lot of conversations out there about um, some really key ingredient trends, one of which is CBD. Mm -hmm. And so okay. I don't want to speak too much on this because it is something that um, I'd have to Give myself a talking to tomorrow if I let the cat out of the bag all the way. But no, no, I, I get it. What I will say is, though, is that we're really excited because we're doing a first take on CBD with really a professional lens. So, so often I think people um, attach to CBD for like therapeutic benefits and all those kind of feel good, be good kind of moments. And we're really looking to feel good, be good, but then also really something that will hold up to that professional standard of calming and soothing. I yeah. am so excited for you guys because I've been nice. testing out some CBD lotions for that were somewhere for skin, like there was an eye cream and a face sure. cream and then like body lotions and the idea of something that could possibly be a treatment as well. Yes. Oh, sign me up. Oh, I think you guys will be excited. I think oh, I'm so will. excited. You'll yes. have to come back and share more about that again 100%. when that comes out. I would love that. We then, need to know more. Well, I think the other thing that we're working on right now, and we actually just sold out, but it's coming back. And <laughs> so I'll let your I'll let your audience know first that we just launched a peel in a box. And this has been kind of timely. So we've really been super excited about it because I think we're all right now trying to figure out just again, how to make do without our estheticians in our life. And yeah. so what we did was we kind of pulled the audience of our esthetician community and rallied to create a service offering that comes in a box. Mm -hmm. And so um, this is coming back in the next few weeks and you can literally order a peel service to your own home and your esthetician can take you through it. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. What a great way to even give back to, in the sense for all these spa professionals who are stuck working at, or not able to work from home and want to still keep that connection with their clients and also make sure that all the work that they've 
they've already done up until this point doesn't go backwards because yes. it's real easy to fall into bad habits again. I know we were speaking a little bit off air where I was like, yeah, I can't wear stretchy pants every day because <laughs> yeah, yeah. she will start believing that yeah. she can fit those stretchy pants for a yes. very long time. Right? Well, and listen, Camille, if I don't go live at least once a week to keep myself <laughs> in my regular clothes, it's going to get scary. So for everyone, yeah. <laughs> came through for me today. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's my pleasure. My pleasure. That's why I invite guests onto my show yes. just so they get a reminder yes. of, yeah, of what it's like to dress up again and, talk to the public. So now good. we already had someone that's saying yes to the barrier balm. It mm -hmm. is a loved yes. product. So Brittany DiCello, she actually will be on my show tomorrow. She's oh, a pageant coach that I'm going to have oh, on. Nice. She coached Miss USA here in Miss North Carolina. So I'm excited to have her, but she's also an esthetician. So oh, very cool. What mm -hmm. a double compliment then. I love that pageant yeah. coach and esthetician. I love that. So she's definitely one that speaks glows praises i'm listening because she works with obviously the prettiest women in the nation <laughs> yeah, and so, such requiring beauty needs i love it oh yeah because <laughs> they have a very different like whether they're on stage sure. working out and learning all the routines and just the lights on them like you can't hide bad skin under bad yeah. well, a lot of lighting it's impossible because sure mm -hmm. the texture will show it all yeah. and Speaking of that, we should just go right into it. Like, what are some of the products, or let's say someone has never been to the spa and are interested in upgrading their skincare, where would you say they should start? Because yeah, they don't have I the think, options of an esthetician. No, totally. And I think that's such a great question. And I think right now people are, are, are definitely looking um, for essentials, right? And so mm -hmm. most people are really focused in on cleansing and moisturizing, which is so great. And we love that so much. But I think that when you're ready to take it to that next level, um, you first dabble in exfoliation. So kind of like what we were talking about with Pro 5, maybe you go that chemical route or you find a new scrub that you love so much because really it's about, I guess, creating that change in the skin and exfoliation is really step number one to doing it. So if you're really looking for a great kind of fix all, of course, liquid exfoliants are kind of my favorite because they work even on the most sensitive of skin. Mm -hmm. um, but then if you are looking for just a great scrub, looking for something that has the right ingredient stories for your skin type. So you're focused more on clarifying the skin, then find something with that ingredient story. If you're looking for something to brighten, even out complexion and tone, there's a scrub for you with that type of functionality. But just again, really going after a scrub of some sort or an exfoliant that's gonna really take your skin to that next level. Okay, now what about serums? I always, you always mm. see every Instagram or every blogger, they're using all these different serums on their face. Yes, what is your go-to yes. serum? Yes, yeah, so I use Glow's Daily Hydration Plus every single day. So I like to say that with serums, you can choose so many different superpowers. And these are really the elixirs that do all the magic. So once you've cleansed, before you moisturize, you insert these in for that added boost um, to your regimen. And so I love, love, love really focusing in on a daily basis with hydration and a hyaluronic acid story. So that's really what Daily Hydration Plus does for me. Um, and for everyone really, is it really just, again, pulls in that moisture and makes the skin look so much more plump and fresh. Right on. And I'm, I'm, as I'm talking to you, I'm checking off things off of, <laughs> off sure. of the retail list. And I'm like, Ooh, yeah. must get that. Must get that. Right. <laughs> Add the basket. <laughs> so I'm like, Ooh, what more things do I want more for myself? Mm -hmm. Just curious about, cause you guys also have some really great masks and everybody loves a good mask. What are some of your favorites for, I don't know, maybe someone that's over 40 has a little bit of skin issues, but yeah, um, totally. trying like, to stay as young say... as long as possible. <laughs> yeah. Well, our phytoactive firming mask is honestly okay. incredible. That has all different types of collagen in it, as well as some plant stem cell technology. Okay. So our entire phytoactive lineup has plant stem cells that are really all about really holding um, holding down the skin and really infer infusing it with some hydration, some moisture, and just making it look its most radiant and youthful possible. And I love that mask because it also has got a little silver fleck to it. So it photographs pretty. You can bring yourself here to the gram. Makes See? it so much fun. Gram worthy Fram. I'm a gram worthy Fram. Gram worthy face mask on top of that. 100%. So. Gotta do it for the gram. You know? Everything's for the gram now because, I mean, where else will people see you? It's very true. <laughs> Social very media true. is the only sign of life right now. <laughs> and 
I know you guys have like some specials going on for Mother's Day as well. Can sure you tell do. us a little bit more about that? Yeah, of course. So right now we've got a really great promotion going on for Mother's Day. Um, if you call any of your professionals out there, so call your favorite esthetician, they've been able to go ahead and get some specials in terms of phytoactive skincare. So even the mask that we were just describing is something that's out there that you should definitely give them a call um, to chat about. And then specifically just some really great duos in the, in the sense of phytoactive conditioning oil, which is a really mm -hmm. great moisturizing oil that you can use full strength on skin or you can mix into your moisturizer for an added boost. Um, and then also our phytoactive light moisture. So a really nice lightweight hydrator, but also with a really rich ingredient story. So really fantastic duo um, that your professionals out there will have ready for you at this point. And then of course, if you jump on our site, we've just launched some new promos for Mother's Day as well, where if you make a few purchases, you get a nice little dust to date night kit. So you can get the best oh, of skincare yeah. and makeup. And those are really great because it's a nice little touch of eye, lip and cheeks. So you can get a full look with that promo. Oh, that's so neat. That's so great. You guys are doing that for just in time for Mother's Day to help yes. help all of us women just remember how pretty you can feel with just a touch of lipstick and gloss and some blush that can change your whole life. But I must mention before it gets away from me, Miss Kitty Seagull, Seagull, excuse me, Kitty Seagull. She says, I love, love, love the phytoactive firming mask, red carpet <laughs> ready. So... Yes. You know we want to make sure best. we get the red carpet looks. You have to. And I think it's so great, too. I know right now our red carpet is maybe the virtual red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> right. But right? everybody's in front of the good. camera right now, though, at the That's same simple. time. Like Zoom you meeting. You got to do it for the gram and you got to do it for Face the Zoom. Time, you got to do it for both. Above. And I will say that Phytoactive Firming Mask, if you're just, if you're looking at your calendar and you got a lot of Zooms coming up or a lot of moments like that, Phytoactive Fermi Mask is just that instant kick that gives you such a beautiful finish before you put on any makeup. So it's great to just oh. backlight your complexion with not only like some extra luminosity and radiance, but it also gives that ultimate plumping effect. So your makeup just looks so much more smooth afterwards. So it's a mask yes. that you don't have to rinse off before putting on your makeup. I didn't realize no, that. You <gasps> do have to rinse it off. Oh, you do. So but... What I'm saying is the results are instant. So oh, the second you it. rinse it off, your skin is just in its best state and it's ready for that makeup application. Because uh, I was like, wait, how does that work with the silver flex? Now I get it. Okay. Yes. Rain's yes. working. It's a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> and then wait. Um, so I know you mentioned earlier about barrier balm being one of your favorites, but can you explain a little bit more about it since Brittany also mentioned how much she loved it? I love it. Yeah, of course. Barrier balm is something that I think is so cool because not only is it something I'll use on my lips to condition and hydrate, but this is actually a product we developed for the treatment room. So mm -hmm. when you're in with your esthetician, getting all your services done, a lot of times there's some heavy, crazy acid content being used to inspire that change, right? And so right. barrier balm was actually developed to protect your most sensitive features against those acids while you're in the middle of a peel or a facial service. Mm, okay. So it's a really great protective balm that you can use anywhere. So a little life hack, I like to use it even on some dry cuticles. I can use it anywhere mm -hmm. that I've got a little extra irritation, maybe a little wind burn picked up. Um, it really is just so great for protecting sensitive skin. And I like to say that if it can hold up to really intense glycolic acids and, and other things like that, it's probably gonna work just fine for a little wind in the environment look uh, here's hoping and plus just being in the home in your home so much now with whether it's your air conditioning going non-stop or your heat depending on where you are so that can true. be very high um dehydrating as well and so maybe we're not true. drinking our water as much as we used to since we're not out and about as much yeah. <laughs> I just gotta Speaking remind myself myself. this stuff isn't gonna drink itself right, right? <laughs> <laughs> why not this is not that my god yes I love it. But yeah, barrier balm is one of my favorites. It really is also a great, so the pro tip that I've got from like a makeup angle with barrier balm is it has just the most beautiful sheen to it. So one of the things that I think is so great is that you can not only use it as like a lip balm and like this protective skin balm, but you can actually use it to, I'm not sure if it's picking up the exact shine there. Oh there yeah, I can see it. Okay. But it's really for that perfect kind of wet look. Oh, wow. So if you love your cheeks, you love them that much more when you take a little barrier balm, warm it up and press it right on top. See, given all, I love that you are a makeup artist and that you're into skincare because you can give tips for both sides. Hey, Speaking of yes. which, since you opened the door <laughs> to the makeup side, any other makeup tips you can give us while using some of the, I mean, because Glow has such a large 
catalog of different items available as far as makeup. Like like you mentioned, it's everything from lipsticks, to mascaras. I it's the whole yes. makeup kit. You can pretty much all be glow. So glow is different than other makeups because it has that treatment part of it as well. Can you exa I'm sorry. Can you elaborate more on that? Yeah, of course. So I faster think, than my brain. No, <laughs> I got you. It is a Monday, and there's no <laughs> amount of caffeine to make this Monday less Monday. And I don't eat, drink so. caffeine, so it's like even <laughs> more. I know. It's like what's the point of drinking caffeine if I'm just home all day? This Listen, is a perfect you get time all the it. extra credit points for that alone. Oh. I wish I didn't, but um, <laughs> but yeah, speaking to makeup specifically, I think that you know, Glow does have this full range, so you can do any type of look you're looking for. Um, when it comes to the treatment, it's really specific by product category. So okay. let's start with like the face and complexion in general. This is the majority of the face is obviously our complexion. And so in our complexion story, we have setting products, we have base products, which would be like foundations. We have concealers, we have blushes, we have bronzers. All of that said, our complexion lineup features an antioxidant complex. So you're actually getting vitamins A, C, and E in every single product with some green tea extract. So ultra calming and soothing. The other great thing about it is that we use a triple milled mineral complex. So our cosmetics are not only going to be super breathable, but at the same time, they're milled fine enough that they read like skin and they melt right into your complexion. Mm -hmm. So I always say that I want people complimenting my skin, not my foundation. And that's what I love about our base lineup and our complexion products really delivers on that. And full disclosure, that's what I wear every single day on my show is wow. the press based by glow. My blush is glow. My eyeshadows are glow. I think that's all I got on this glow. I like it. What is your question today? Did you say it's press base? That you're it's wearing, press base. Your... Mm -hmm. I wear press base oh, and I've been wearing nice. it for years. I always tell people to not sleep on it because it is a powder foundation. And I feel like sometimes people think, oh, that was, you know, that was it covers amazingly. And it's not, I mean, and I feel like, although I might try that balm trick, I yeah. feel like it looks very hydrating. Like it looks like my skin. Yes. I don't know. I can't really wipe it off, no. but it looks like my skin. And it's, I just love that in the sense that it just gives, I mean, if I needed more coverage, I could add more on because there's been times where I'm like, oh, put too much on. <laughs> I'm a little heavy handed and I can be like, oh, wow, look it at how much it covers. Coverage. Yes. It does deliver coverage if you need it. And I've heard, I think you could also like wetten your brush to give more coverage too. Someone was telling me maybe yeah. it's changed in the years, but I think that's what they it told us in training, but I've never had to do that. And it's yeah. full coverage in that sense. I don't wear concealer or anything. And I feel like it gives my skin like the perfect airbrush look because I use a brush to put it on as opposed yeah. to um, a, a blender or whatever. And it it's, I just love it. And every time I've used it on someone, it's been one, it's kind of been my cheat sheet too, because you don't have to match exactly sometimes and it still sure. works. So you can just, that. it's easily blendable to fit it's different so skin colors. So I love that part of it. And not to mention well, the eyeshadow as well. But it's also sunscreen. So you get yes. full coverage, you're protected, yeah. and you're getting your vitamins. And I'm saying this only because my good friend Jeremy was on not that long ago and mentioned sometimes he sleeps in his makeup. This wow. won't damage you as badly if you happen to do it. It won't. Well, and we also, we make room for all the good stuff by leaving some things out. So one of the right. things that's really kind of a buzz right now is talc. I think everybody's hearing a lot about talc. If you haven't, mm -hmm. Google it. We don't have time to come no. into the details of talc. But one of yeah. the things that I love when you leave talc out, out of a product, which our whole line is talc-free, talc is really, if you think of baby powder, it's really just scented talc and powder. So mm -hmm. it is that same type of chalky kind of white tone. And when that's in a powder formulation, you've got to work against it so hard to get it to look like skin. We leave all that at home so we can pack it with the minerals and the emollients. You get that buttery skin, just like your skin today, Camille, mm -hmm. where it just looks And so it doesn't flawless. feel tight because sometimes when you put on yes. those other powders that are dry because they have the talc powder in it, you can feel it absorbing the oil and moisture right out of your skin. Not necessarily the bad oil that you would want absorbed out, but the right. good as well. It's like all, all of it, it is sucking up. Yes. yes. Well, and my mm -hmm. least favorite thing, and I'm sure you felt this way too, not that we're going out a lot right now, but we've all had that night out where we thought we looked so great. And the next day mm -hmm. there's like paranormal activity above the neckline, <laughs> right? There's that little orb floating. 
And I hate that so much. Oxidated. There's nothing worse. I'm missing yeah. a nose. Like, what's going on? <laughs> a lot of times that's talc, which we don't yeah. even think about it. It mm. flashes back and catches light in strange ways. And so I like to say that for something that works even beyond the studio, the way that it's meant to, I, I love a talc-free powder. So our press base is one of my favorites. And, has and that powder. adds also to the Mac of mineral makeup in the sense that you can wear it on camera with all the lights yes. and it won't change your complexion from 100%. unless you personally put a different complexion, then that's on you. But the lights True. is going to show what you put on. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. no, um, so speaking more about with um, glow, I know they also have like zinc in it as well, which is great for people who have acne or even yes. rosacea, even with that, I remember that being a good point I would bring up to a lot of my rosacea or acne clients that if you have to wear makeup, this is the line, this is the only line I will suggest for you just for that reason, because it won't further cause more irritation if you're using something that may be more stripping or harmful. And can you add any more to that part of it as well with zinc being such a good part of also what you guys use? Totally. And I think that there's so many times where, you know, you will go grab a treatment for a more sensitive skin and it features zinc mm -hmm. for that purpose. Mm -hmm. um, we feature zinc as part of our mineral complex. And so that said, it does offer that calming and soothing. And I think when you pair that with your green tea leaf extract, it's such a dynamic duo to really calm and soothe. And so love that suggestion and love the way that you're looking at it. Um, and that's even something too, that just translates over back into some skincare formulations. So, you know, if you're loving kind of that mineral complex, we also have some full mineral SPFs that feature that zinc as well, mm. all about the calming and the soothing and just kind of those anti-inflammatory benefits. And it's not your grandma's zinc where you have to worry about white or purple. <laughs> like when I go yes. out and I, well, not right now, but if I were to go out and work out yes. in the sun, my face wouldn't turn purple from the zinc. So it's not. It's not that kind of zinc. Just want to. Yes, thank you. So important. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So tell us more about some of the skincare, or not skincare. We already talked about skincare. Tell us more about some of the color stories that you guys have coming forward. Like, what are your trends maybe for spring and summer, or sure. different products you suggest for people just to kind of pump up their Zoom meetings? Yeah, it's so funny because I think that you know even before this new normal that we've entered mm -hmm. into, people were kind of starting to really look for no makeup makeup. Mm -hmm. um, that can mm -hmm. kind of tends to be the trend where maybe sometimes people want to play a little bit more with color on eyes and lips, but overall it's about embracing that really skin forward complexion skin that looks like skin, feels like skin with subtle flushes. Um, and so right now we actually have a couple kits out that allow you to achieve those looks very easily. They're called In the Nudes Kits. Mm -hmm. And these are both a collection of colors for springtime um, featuring kind of that no makeup makeup story. One is very much bronze and kind of all about that corally bronzy sun kissed look, which I love so much. Can't Same. be mad at that. Yeah. And then there's also the pop of pink kit, which is all about just that kind of hint of floral tone that is so on par for this time of year. People love a little kiss of pink. And that said, this is gonna allow you to bring that to your lips, to your cheeks, to your eyes. And so it's kind of an all-in-one kit. You just add this into your regimen and you've got a full look in a bag, which is kind of nice. That is um, nice. Take some yeah. of the guesswork out too of trying to match things together. Exactly. And then I'll share with you a little prematurely, but I always overshare that's part of this. But I think that, um, you know, the other thing is, is that people right now are, are speaking on Zoom so much and right. or in Instagram. And so there's this element of like the virtual power lip, right? And that's kind of something that's, oh, I love your little like. Like, wait, yes, I love Listen. a big lip. I mean, right. but I'm kind of biased. The, the bigger, the better. As far it. as I'm concerned. Yes, I I'm so right there with you. And I think that <laughs> especially as we're talking in like this two dimensional world, there's all, yeah. it's all about creating dimension and interest right. and there's something about just the lips that's so powerful because it's the way that we're communicating. And so mm -hmm. dressing them up with the color of the moment for you can give you that extra little boost of confidence and allow you to really bring something special that maybe you wouldn't have felt otherwise. So we are launching yeah. um, the Flower Talk Lip Kit in a couple weeks. And I haven't mentioned this, but it is a collection of four cream glaze lip crayons. Um, <gasps> I'm sure you're familiar. You've played yeah. with these, yes? I have played with them liner lipstick gloss all in one point yeah that's so saturated awesome. and they're so beautiful but there are four shades and a sharpener for the price of what would be just two 
And this is a fun way for people just to play with new power lips. So there's everything from kind of your more on on par move of the moment to something yeah. a little bit more sultry and seductive and then something a little bit more poppy and vivacious and something a little bit more nude. So there's something for everyone in there. And right now more than ever, I think it's fun just to play with your look in this virtual space. So why not dress your lips up and try out a few different power lips? Absolutely. Do you have any other tips that you would suggest for people who are doing Zoom meetings? Yes. Just to kind of, I guess, keep their look professional, even though they may be in pajamas. <laughs> oh, totally. And I think, you know, we, I think you and I probably both live in this virtual world, even during mm -hmm. regular times a little bit. Yeah, and so a little bit. Mm -hmm. There are things that like people have started asking me that I've had to go back, Camille, and think about because I just do them automatically where I'm like, right. oh, just do that. That's just what we do. But there are so many things on Zoom or Hangouts or FaceTime, you name your virtual platform that people don't think about. And it's so often that really it is two dimensional. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have to go back to 2015 when we all got behind that trend of contouring and bust out some of those tips and tricks. Oh, here we go. The contour yeah, kit. You got to. I it's love my contour kit. It's creating frames. So exactly. 100%. Our contour kit's one of my favorites because you can really you amplify go. that V of light, bring things forward recede things back. And especially right now, I don't know about you, but I'm having a hard time not making the snack run. So I'll take I'm the saying, little extra make new, yeah. <laughs> which is all it because it's not happening otherwise right now. So yes, Sorry. contouring, mm -hmm. so in. The other thing that I would say is, is that, you know, people I think in real life are so obsessed with kind of over the top finishes and yeah. glitter being one of them. We love glitter so much, but I mean there are some times we're specifically in like two dimensional land where sometimes glitter and the wrong lights can really become distracting. So I'm encouraging everybody more than ever to get back into frost and to get back into shimmer and satins. So it's kind mm -hmm. of like, it's like glitter for zoom. That's basically what it is. It's just a little <laughs> bit more subtle, plays a little bit nicer on the playgrounds. I would say so. Like anything yeah. that can help you feel more confident, which I do think putting on makeup is one of those steps that just, yes. It adds that extra layer of confidence, even though you may not so feel hard. it because you have on glow and you don't, you can't even tell you have it on, <laughs> but <laughs> it still adds in to that layer of I've completed my look. I, you sure know, I'm does. ready to be a boss or whatever you may be in your jobs, but, and it's great that you brought up about contouring kit. Cause that's one thing I'll mention whenever I do some of my lives while I'm doing makeup that I'm doing a lot of the contouring because, because Unlike with real world where your eye can see things in three dimensional, a camera is only going to see you in one dimension. And so in order to avoid like a moon face type look, you kind of have to redefine where your cheeks are, where your nose are, where your eyes and maybe do a little of a um, contour in your crease and so on just to add that dimension. But it also helps for us older ladies sometimes maybe draw attention to wherever we want people to pay the most attention to wherever yes. that might be the brightest or the deepest color it can work as that way too if it's like a bright red lip nobody's paying attention yes. to your maybe hooded eyes or whatever you may be more insecure sure. about you know sure, so but i love that. i love I the contour kit highlight away because i think it's so important <laughs> It is. your favorite feature in Rocket. You have to. Oh my gosh. And go as, and like, even though you think you're overdoing it, you're probably not. Like, do a camera <laughs> test just to make sure, because exactly. I don't know what your lighting situation is, but do a camera test and double check because you might surprise yourself how great the contour looks on you. 100%. I agree so much. My other thing that I'm really focused on, I think personally, as I go into virtuals, are my brows. Mm. I think that that's. <sighs> something too when we're talking like focus contours brows are very contouring and we don't talk about them like that i don't know why camille but like when we're thinking they're about my it, favorite these do part. so much they do I'm and i use them for so many expressions but you know they tend to fade away a little bit when you got some nice light going on and so it. filling them in is great my perfect favorite fix always is going to be our precise micro brow liner at glow um <sighs> I'm really into that bladed and laminated brow look. That's mm -hmm. the goal at this mm -hmm. point. And so I love that precision point because you can just get in and create the tiniest little hair like strokes. And then my other favorite thing is just brow gel. Just a little brow gel goes uh, a long way. Right? Brow, I love a brow gel because I have a little bit fuller brows, but sometimes okay. I want them to be even more full by 
and um, using brow gel, I can do that illusion because it'll make them stick yes. up as opposed to just laying in their natural habitat. <laughs> the yes. laziness of them all. When I want them to be more like rock did them. Yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> more defined. The brow oh. gel can definitely help with that. Or if yes. you are someone that already is blessed with very full brows, you can kind of control them more with brow gel. So true. And yeah, my girlfriend Goldie Bell is. She's right there with us, brows and eyelashes, oh, and make yes. sure you do a camera test. It's very important because <laughs> even today I got a new chair and I did a camera test, but I'm still realizing that I'm just barely making it before <laughs> my camera cuts off at my head. So, but Fair. whatever. I'm just so glad I have a new chair. Needless it's to say, things right. Oh, it's <laughs> so much more comfortable. Um, uh, yeah. Anyway, don't get me off the subject. I'll be talking about chairs instead of my favorite subject, aesthetics and cosmetics with uh -huh. Mr. Glow himself. And I also posted on here, I wanted to make sure everybody knows where to find more about Glow Skin Beauty. You can just go to their website, which is glowskinbeauty.com. And I have on here already the skincare link, but you guys have an amazing Instagram page oh, at Glow. So much. I love it. You guys go live all the time where you're showing yes. different products and doing like services from home, basically how you can do it yourself and the different steps and routines, which is awesome for those who can't go to their normal esthetician to have all those things done, especially when they're going to start getting these kits at home. I even tried, I tried my best to let my eyebrows grow out so I could show people how to, no, I didn't make it. I made it like, I couldn't it. do it. I was just like, <laughs> I can't put an eyeshadow. I, I tried. Yeah. Uh -huh. I totally tried. I might just have to, I don't know, find somebody else to help you with that one. <laughs> I can't do it. I tried. And I don't know if I'm OCD or not, but it, it just bothered me so bad. Like every time I look in the mirror, all I could notice was the hairs that were not, That's fair. that need not That's to so be there. Fair. Again, they just sit right in the middle of the face. So you can't not notice when a little something's out of place. It's a problem. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you were, if they did the same thing with you when they were training for Mac, but they're like, uh, brows need to be sisters, not twins. 100%. Because yes, we would tweeze on, <laughs> like we would tweeze on our, at our yep. studio and stuff. So I don't, yep, you did too. Yeah. So Crazy yeah. times. I definitely didn't have a license to be tweezing, but I had a lot of fun with it. It was good times. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm trying to think. I think I was in school because I started working for Mac before I went to esthetician school. But I think yeah. I didn't feel comfortable doing it until I was in the school. I was like, oh, yeah, now I know the right way to do it. Now we're into it. Yeah. But, and then there was times where I was just like, girl, just don't tell nobody. Because <laughs> 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 um, it's really hard to do all. Because what was it? Like we had to do at least eight products, I think, in a makeover. So I was like, I can't reach eight if your eyebrows are taking yeah. up a third of my pal um, not palette, canvas for your eyes. Yeah. That's so far. You had to clear the path a little bit, right? I yeah, just a, little, mm -hmm, just a little. Just right? <laughs> a little. Those are fun. <laughs> <sighs> it's like, they were supposed to be two, but whatever. <laughs> we're all going through this together now as far sure as taking are. care of ourselves. So any last minute tips you would suggest or anything else that you want to share about glow? I want to be yeah, mindful of your time. No, you're so sweet. Thank you. I would just say that like, you know, this is the time to experiment. I think we've got a little bit of license right now more than ever. And so, you know, if you had that mask that you've been dying to try, this is the perfect time to pick it up and give it a whirl. This is also a moment where if you haven't played with some more professional treatments, like some retinol, mm. haven't had some fun with some bright. Wait, 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 back there. up. Which one is the uh, retinol products? I, I, I think we skipped over that part. We did skip retinol altogether. I don't know how uh, we made it out of the woods without talking about retinol, but yeah, uh, retinol. That's my secret weapon for, uh, I think, not, well, A, for acne, because, oh my gosh, she still gets acne. Yeah. She didn't get it as a teenager, but she gets it now. And I'm like, no yeah, fear. How rude. How rude, right? Right? But luckily, but... there's retinol products now, so it all evens yes. out. But retinol is tell like us about your retinol. Knife. Which ones do you, which products have retinol? Totally. We have so many different types of retinol. Okay. So you can find your perfect match. Oh, retinol great. to me is like the Swiss army knife of solutions in skincare. It will take care of everything. If you want to be brighter, retinol. If you want to have less flare ups, retinol. You want smoother skin, retinol. You want a little less fine lines, retinol. 
it is the, it is the holy grail. Right no, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, right? Exactly. <laughs> At least you'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> but retinol is amazing. And so actually that's the hero of our peel in a box. So it's been a call. Oh, having, okay. And I think people are asking us a lot right now, Camille, like why retinol, it's 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 about to be May. And we're like, yeah, retinol, it's quarantine May. Like it's a little different yeah. these days. So like I'm telling you. everybody make the best time make the best of this time with really trying out these different kind of skin transformative products mm -hmm. and so if i'm to recommend like just a, a retinol that you can use always on i absolutely love just our retinol smoothing serum because it really is kind of your perfect entry-level retinol okay. it's got a little glycolic acid too so it helps it get a little deeper mm -hmm. and then when you're really ready to take it there you can totally jump into some of our more advanced retinol formulas so my personal favorite ongoing is retinol plus resurfacing serum and I was like you know people are going to want to jump to the good <sighs> stuff immediately i know it but here's the thing like i like okay. to put it this way it's like going to the gym right like you will go to the gym and you see you see that guy or that girl that's benching some crazy amount of weight and you're right. like i want to do that and then you go grab your bar and you go to do it and it doesn't feel so good or maybe <laughs> the next day you can't get out of bed because you did a little too much yeah or you're lifting Same thing with kidding. retinol yeah. Okay. It's not cute. Same thing. If you go for the gusto right in the beginning, your skin's not trained and ready for it. So it really is a journey and it's something where you want to start slow, work it up. Yeah. I know a couple nights a week is the recommended amount. And then if you keep, if you do well, you keep layering it in, but definitely that's why we offer so many different types of retinol within our serum category. We know that there's different levels to it. People are at different points with their skin, but there's definitely a retinol out there for you. And if you go to our site, you can totally jump onto a live chat and we'd be happy to help you find the right oh, one. Oh, that's great. That's right. Yeah. On your website, you guys do offer live chat. And I'm totally blanking because I know I have a retinol product, but I think it's, I can't think of what the name is. I'll have to um, post a picture of it later because I remember like, oh, wait, I don't have to use my prescription with this. Because at yes. first I was using both because I'm that girl. And then I was peeling a lot and I was like, Ooh, I love this, but I have to be on camera. So maybe I should start alternating. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's one of the good. things that can happen if you're using something a little too strong, or even like you mentioned earlier, that it's different being quarantine may that some of these services you wouldn't do during the summer because they would make you more photosensitive. Can you exactly. speak a little bit more to about that? So they know how they should or shouldn't use it. Cause some people are still outside, whether it's just oh, taking cool. walks, running their, or walking their dogs or running or other ways of being active without, you know, yeah. still being socially distant. But, 100 percent. it's so yeah. important and i feel like fresh air and just being outdoors it doesn't mm -hmm. matter if you're in maine or if you're in miami right, right. you need a little fresh air sometimes so we should Absolutely. all be out there we should all be doing this but that said i think that it goes without saying that anytime you're doing any type of treatment whether it's a retinol or any type of exfoliation treatment um for the skin you're creating change you're getting to fresher skin below and so your skin's in a more sensitive place and that's really where it's more uh, it's more open to damage from things like the sun from wind burn and beyond and so you want to be protecting it okay. um and that said retinol is typically a pm product use it at night let it do its best work uninhibited do its thing and then you wake up the next morning to fresher skin that you just wash off and reveal radiance which is so great but mm -hmm. step two to any retinol is using spf during the day and if you're not already using spf you should but if you start using retinol and you're not using SPF, you're going to be in trouble. So you definitely want to be using a good SPF every single day. And um, Camille, I will just, I'll give your viewers just a little sneak peek that we've actually got a Protection Essentials kit launching later this week. So if you're not oh, that's sure right. It releases May do, 1st, right? It does. Yes. Huh? Yes. I so think I know, I know a little um, something. You might know a little bit more than the average out there, but well, only excited. because you guys were so gracious <laughs> enough to actually have that kit be part of my self care contest. Yes. So well, people could actually, you could possibly win $600 of spa skincare. Did you hear me in the back? $600, $600. worth of yes. spa skincare <laughs> from Glow Skin Beauty, and one business. of which has yes. not even been out yet. Correct. Okay, Correct. so share more box, about it. Sorry. This box is everything you need for protection. So yeah. I think that the big thing is right now, like, not only do you want to get your glow, but then you want to protect your glow when you have it, right? And that's so key and so crucial. And so this is truly an essentials kit that's going to allow everyone to protect their glow, regardless of what they're up against. So this glow, this protect your glow kit is going to have 
um, some SPF, one of our best sellers in there that I think people will love so much. Our oil-free SPF 40 plus is mm -hmm. incredible. It's invisible. It's weightless. It feels like nothing. And it gets the, tr it gets the job done for sun protection, but mm -hmm. then there's also elements in there for blue light defense mm -hmm. and which we're all consuming so much blue light with all of our electronics. Right here. Yeah. I didn't even Man realize because they have like blue light defense for glasses. But Correct. now it's for skin. This <gasps> is now going to be a product for the eyes from us. Yes, it's our eye restore. So it is out, but we're including it in this protection essentials kit. So that's going to give you your blue light protection for your delicate eyes. And then, of course, one of the things that we need ongoing is antioxidant protection. Every single day we need it, whether it's us ingesting antioxidants or if us putting it on our skin, our body needs it and craves it. So our Daily Power C is one of our, one of my favorite products from Glow. I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It is like that perfect shot of OJ in the morning for your skin. So fantastic. And so we're going to be selling these three at a really great deal. And so May 1st, these will be available um on our site and via your professional out there so we're excited for you to give them a call give them an order or jump on our site and we'd be happy to help you navigate but protection essentials coming soon and um very excited just because in general right now it's all about finding the right protection for what you're going through in this moment your outdoor walks your indoor moments mm -hmm. and everything in between uh, brilliant Absolutely brilliant. I cannot thank you enough for a being my guest today, but also oh for, God, for giving such me. a great gift for my, the self-care video. Listen, you've been such a friend of this brand for so long, and we are so that. excited to to hook your viewers up with this. So I hope someone out there is going to really enjoy that lucky little care package, but I think it'll be a nice one. You're being very kind by calling it little because <laughs> it is a big package. It's a little big. It's a little big. A little big. Yeah. No, we're excited about it. So, but Camille, thank you so much for having me. This has been oh, so much fun. my pleasure. Uh, same for me. I could talk skincare and beauty all day long. So this Let's week is going to be again. exciting. Yeah. Absolutely. I know I'm going to be telling you, we've got some great guests the rest of the week. So fantastic. Oh, I'm very excited about all of them because I mean, beauty pageants. It's on. It's you know on. what I mean? I can't wait for all the tips, the tricks <gasps> and the tea. <laughs> yeah. Cause I mean, first of all, they have to learn how to interview <laughs> on stage with thousands of people watching them and on camera. Like they learn a lot of things that when I, cause I did two pageants in my life and I thought I was 100% prepared because like, oh, yeah, I work on camera all the time. This will right. be easy. Oh, no, no, no. Walking in like six foot or six foot, excuse me, six inch heels while everybody's staring at you with cameras going. And yeah, it's a little nerve wracking. Totally I'm very pressure. impressed by them. Oh, it's a completely different. It's completely different. Still traumatized. So no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> wait to hear PTSD from them. In your eyes. Yes. Like, I, like, I kind of like I basically gave the crown away. So I'm sh I'm saving the story for my actual coach. She'll be on Friday because she still remembers the moment where everyone collectively went. Because, oh! yeah, I put my foot in my mouth and couldn't stop. Well, yep. And I took I speech path out, speech lessons this. right after that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I learned. Oh, yeah. That was a fun night. <laughs> for, yeah. But anyway, back to Glow. I cannot thank you enough for being my guest today and for sharing all of your wealth of knowledge about Glow and all of their skincare and makeup, just beautiful items and so much that we can do from home still, which is nice. But at the same time, you have a way where we can we can get in contact with our esthetician and they'll drop ship it to our house for us. So we don't have 100%. to go to the spa to go get our items. Glow will deliver it for you at ex no extra charge for that as well. Right? Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, wait a minute. Favorite pro. We are so here to support our pros in this moment. So give them a ring. They can get it to you at no cost to you. At oh, all of a sudden your sound went out. See, we were going too well. Oh, no. Well, basically, he was saying that free shipping, just call your professional, the regular person that you buy your Glow products from, and they will work it out for you to get it drop shipped directly to you. So you don't need a Prime membership to get it free. Even better. <laughs> and I can't thank Brett enough. He was such a great, ho um, such a great guest. And thank you so much for being a part of the E Spot Spotlight on Mondays. It was my pleasure. All right, I will. All right.
What a fun time. I hope you guys enjoyed all that you learned about GLOW. Cannot wait for the rest of the week. Like we mentioned earlier, yes, it's beauty week. And by beauty, I mean just as beautiful inside as they are outside. Because a lot of these women, not only were they competing for themselves, they were also competing for their uh for their social impact, their cause, their platform. So we get to hear a lot about that and find out if there are different organizations they are affiliated with, if they're still needing help and how we can go about helping them. So I'm very excited to talk to these women because they're all amazing. Starts tomorrow with Brittany DiCello, who is from Finishing Touches. She's a coach for pageants. She coached several title, um, title holders. I cannot wait to learn from her, her tips. And she's also an esthetician, so we get a double dose of skincare, uh, well, skincare tips for those of us who need to be camera ready at all times. <laughs> all right, again, thank you so much for joining me on the eSpot. And please tell your friends, share, like. Don't keep Camille the best kept secret. All right, awkward bye time.